And the others I do not have an integration, and the phi of, phi of x just equals, but just corresponds to the phi hydro gamma. The other was phi of x is the phi hydro gamma operator, is corresponding to the OP block directly. So this means the buckle operator is local. This is quantum trivia. And we can, we can, we can direct C the real ideas to real space from OP block with uh, uh, this whole got set up on OP block. Before we, we need to, before we just, we just, we just can use this random transformation to see some, some deeper space, kinetic space, and then we need to do a transformation from the kinetic to a real space. Because I just have a pawn, because it's a quantum two service just a pawn, we do not need to do the additional uh, transformation. It's more, e it's easier to see the, uh, uh, to see this set up, set up in space. And then the, we consider this kind of Lorenz idea two metric, and, and to determine the, the because quantum the two service is just a pawn, then we need to see how we need to know how to determine this pawn. We use the light cone with the boundary pawn, and the future becomes a single right ray in the back, and therefore it passes the same right ray of the boundary pawn in tau two, and the virtual right ray of the boundary pawn in tau one meet at the foreign pawn t and the d, and t is a back back time. And this is a box of special duration. And you can see tau 1 plus tau 2 that gives you t. And then tau 1 minus tau 2 gives you d. And the tau 1, of course, the tau 2 is larger than tau 1. So we can use a two, uh, two boundary component to determine each buck point. So you can see the one almost is a, is a one to one setup. It's more, uh, it's more easier to see the whole, uh, concrete holograms of correspondence from this, uh, from this setup. And the, the main idea is that we also include a time. Uh, we also include the, okay, we include a time here. Before they consider this uh, high dimension for the correspondence, they, do, they just consider special directions. So this is a little different from the high dimension. So in summary, the OP block or the code dimension 2 service operator just comes from the two boundary operators, the tau 1 and the tau 2, and the, which gives us a, a buck local operator. And whose position is uniquely determined by the by equation six. And for the high dimension case, you can see this paper. And they they first propose this idea, uh, like uh, for uh, for this for the setup. Okay. Now I will how to say how to probe the idea two in my complete tensor from the major Hamiltonian. Since the major Hamiltonian is a Hamiltonian, so this can be diagonalized. This is a u data du, and the u is a unitary matrix, and d is a diagonal matrix because it's commission, so it's easy to do that. And then we can just do some configuration. I say I do the derivative with respect to lambda, and you can get this situation. It's just natural variation. And then here I also define the PDO, and PDO is a, is a, we can use PDO is a projection up to a little mosque. And the which is the which means that the permission operator is a commuter with a Major Hamiltonian. This means that I have a I have a Hamiltonian operators Q and the Q commutes with the major Hamiltonian. And the data I will say that the lambda just promise the pass. And the second equation, okay, oh, let me say more about the second equation. The second equation says that the, the transpose is parallel when the tangent vector is along the horizon subspace. This is the mean geometry meaning for the for second equation. And the imaginary Hamiltonian in the CFD1 can be impressed in terms of SL2 interrelated. So you can say that the CFD, uh, you can say that the construction of the imaginary Hamiltonian from the half CFD2. Because in the, the CFD2 case, you, should, you, use, you need to use SL2 plus SL2 generators, not only, not just a single SL. In this case, we can use the uh, equation A to get uh, the module Hamiltonian in the CFT1 case. And uh, here you can see S1 parameters, S1 0 and S minus 1, which just depends, which only depends on uh, the tau 1 and the tau 2. You see here, tau 2 minus tau 1 is gives a buck time, and the tau 1 plus tau 2 gives you D. So you can see that the module Hamiltonian can be enlightened in terms of the buck uh, coordinates T and D. So it's very it's, so. So this means that our coloric setup is very clear here from uh, this equation A or Hamiltonian. 
I see the, the, the modular component can be mapped to other modular component from the topology estimation. So the equation can be used to this equation is below. What I mean is that the, the, the partial D, partial lambda, vanishes. So this means that the, the, diagonal, uh, the eigenvalue of, of, of the modular Hamiltonian does is not changed from the couple of transformation. So we can so we can see this. So we can see equation eleven in the safety one case. And then we see heaven of the following algebra. And then we did this, this algebra can be derived. And then we can solve the uh, modular Hamiltonian capital equation. We did a, uh, this this equation. It means that this uh, equation is thirteen. And then the power jump to me, you can see that it's just a parallel transport. So this means that I can, uh, if I give you a pass, one pass, then either we can use the equation 30 to do the, to, to the parallel transport to other pass. And then because um, different paths can also have some homonomy to map each other, because I have some gauge symmetry between the U and the D. I, I, what I mean is that you can also do a transformation on the U and also a transformation on the D. And the module compliance is invariant. So it's, it's, a, it's a similar to some, you can say it's a like gauge symmetry, but, but the only also like to say that it's a whole norm. And then from the equation 12, then you can, you can you find equation, uh, from the edge of bar or the equation 12, then you can, you can, you can determine the figure of the lambda, which is the equation 14. It's just edge of bar work. Then, and then, then we can define the covariant derivative equal to 15. Because I will define the, I will define so because uh, because uh, due to the equation 13, because uh, with the help with the equation 13, then the lambda h vanishes. So it's the same as the uh, GR. Uh, in the the commutator for the derivative around the direction lambda equal power and the lambda equal power two, and this uh, the and gets then we can get the equation 16. And which also gives us uh, the bari capital tensor, uh, R and of course you can do some transformation, uh, some transformation and you get the R the top. Of, of course here I still do not say that it's ADL2 remind the capital tensor. It's, here I, I the name is the uh, bari capital tensor. But later I will say that it will correspond to the uh, ADL2 remind tensor from some calculation. And it's subscript sub zero of the tau leader and the D leader means that with if this variable are fixed. And now we extend this SL2 generator from the boundary to the back for getting uh, for do a comparison for doing the comparison to the ADA2 remind capital tensor. And then you we could do we can do some uh, uh, some computation for the then some com uh, computation of the computer relation, then we can find the uh, diagonal entries of the module uh component just finished at uh, this point, and then also the over diagonal one are symmetrical and the R two pi R. And the, by sub sub by by sub substituting these things to the to the to the R the tau, then we can get the then we get the one over the linear square. Then I think the, the, if you are familiar with the idea two jumps, then this already gives us the idea two minus tensor. Then let me say more precisely. R eta corresponds to R D tau D tau equal one over the real square, and R eta corresponds to R D tau tau D gives a minus one over the real square. So we did so now we can precise show it. Very careful tensor gives us uh, idea two minus tensor. They they are, they correspond to each other exactly. So and then this uh, this uh, correspondence was first uh, proposed in this two reference and then, and they. They consider safety two case. Our study is uh, our study is for safety one. So now let me say conclusion and uh, outlook. We related we related the two boundary point to each back point in the Lorentz and ADL two safety one correspondence. And in the safety one case, the OP block is just a back lock operator. Okay, it, it, this is only for uh, it, okay. I, what I mean is that back operator is local. It is only is only for safety one. If for higher dimension back operator can be not local. Should be not local, and then, because, and then the reason is just due to the quantum uh, two service is a point. We, we prove this uh, ADA two new, new man computer tensor on the homonomy of the module Hamiltonian because of this tensor only has one physical degree of freedom, so it's easy to show it. And then we can direct, and then we can also precisely confirm the relation between the module transport and the curvature. 
Thank you. So if I use the same setup, I, I don't know how to do that. So I, I let it, I use, I include time here. And do the same thing. And in the, in the, if you can use some the OP block solution, you will find that uh, our OP block solution will have some integration around the time before they just have an integration around the uh, spatial version. Yeah. So they are very different here. Yeah. Also, also in the, indeed, people, people like in the high, uh, in the high dynamic case, they can, they can relate that they are starting to like tank them. Here, I cannot. Because we, we need a special direction to define it, uh, to have an integral picture. So they are very different for the for setup and the physical uh, uh, unit. Uh, is, is there a simpler case than uh, 71? You say to Kuala the Pentonia? Yeah, I think it will have many components in one. Uh, I mean, I get more. Before it's a nice market, if you see the larger window, it should be able to see the Would you agree? So, Meldesina had this uh, discussion about uh, that you have bulk locality where you have the CFT and then you can probe the Lorenzian sing singularity and that will, and the bulk, that corresponds to the bulk, you see the flash space S matrix in the bulk. At the bulk point, so in principle, you in two in ADS two, you would also have two dimension S matrices. So, so two dimension. Yeah, ADS two. Two dimension for what? S matrix. You oh, also have two dimension S matrix. Okay. Yeah. So, so now I was wondering if you in these one D O P blocks, can you also see like uh, yeah the emergence of these these bulk scattering. Flash space S matrix in those bulk since you're probing bulk locality, right? Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. So, so, so in the higher dimension case, we're not saying they show that you, the the flash space S matrix emerges at the bulk at these local bulk points. Okay. So, 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 so you mean level high dimension is the local point, or just just for a safety work case? For higher dimension, we know. I mean, at least an example that uh, that that I was showing that okay. it, it, it takes these OP box yeah. and you go to the Lorenzian region and you, you have the singularity, yeah. and you show that the singularity at the singularity the residue, you see that, that there's a flash space S matrix at the residue. Okay. So now the question is that do you, do you have CFT one and then and, and can you also do the same thing since you're probing the bulk point, the uh, local bulk point, mm -hmm. and. I think it should, should be because the upper is low, so I think it should take it. Yeah, so, so it'll be interesting to see actually yeah. what kind of, yeah, flash space. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.